Hi, I'm Robin Levine from Bubble Fast, and today I'm going to introduce you to one of our favorite tools for the shipping room. This is our box cutter. If you have a box that's a little bit too big for what you're going to be shipping, this is just a great tool you're going to want to have. It'll help you very easily cut the box down to size. You'll make a nice secure package. It'll eliminate the need for extra void fill. Your package will be lighter weight because you won't have all the extra box. And also, if you're worried about dimensional weight, you'll be cutting inches off that'll, cost, that'll save you money. So this is a really great economical tool, and I'm going to show you exactly how to use it. In my box, I have a shipment that I've got ready to ship. And as you can see, there's a lot of extra room at the top. I want to get rid of this part of the box, cut it down to size. So what I'm going to do, uh, let me, first before I do that, let me tell you a little bit about the cutter itself. It's got a few different parts here down at the bottom. We've got the cutting edge. There's a little, little bit of space below there, but uh, it's a really sharp cutting edge, so be careful with that. On the side, we've got the measuring stick, so if you know how many inches you're going to cut down, you can, fo you can follow along here and decide how many inches you want to cut. This is the adjustable part. I loosen it up. I can move it up or down, and this will help me figure out exactly how tall or short I want the box to be. Here's how it works. I'm going to look in my package and find the part of the package that's the, high, that's the highest, and that, that's this part of the boxes is the highest, so I'm going to place the cutter down on top of that part. I'm going to press this edge down, and I'm going to tighten that up. Okay, this is how much box I'm going to be cutting away. For me, it's easier to start on the side away from me, and I'm going to place the edge over the, the edge of the box, hold it at the top, and then there's a handle down at the bottom. I'm going to push in, push the blade into the box, and pull it towards me. I'm going to do the same thing on all four sides. As you can see, I'm not actually cutting the box, but the box is being scored, and you'll see where that comes in later. Okay, this is the last side. Okay, I've got scoring along all four sides on the inside of the box. Next thing I'm going to need to do is take a scissors, and I'm going to need to cut down the corners down just until where the scoring be begins. If you cut down a little bit too far, that's not a problem. There we go. You can use a scissors or a utility knife. Okay, I'm ready to fold. I'm going to take the short sides first. I'm just going to press them down and you can see how nicely and easily that folded down. Do the same thing on the other side. And here we go. If you wanted to, you could just tape the box down now, but there's a lot of extra material there, so I'm going to actually cut some of that off and make my box a little bit lighter. So I'm going to just take a pen and go right across there. away the extra portion of the box that I don't need. You can save this, find a use for it. For this particular package, I don't need it at all, so I'm just going to set it aside. And I'm done. I'm just going to tape up my package. And I'm good to go. I've made a nice secure package without a lot of extra space. The Items aren't going to shake around in here, and the trusty box cutter made it a very easy project.